In 1908, a polarizing figure suddenly appeared on the scene. So massive was his man. He haunted every white man's dream. With white supremacy being the law of this land, their arrogance finally approved a Negro to fight a white man. It was inconceivable to think a white man could ever fall to a Negro. Erected Tommy Byrne before the fight took place. Their official hero. So sure of victory, Tommy Byrne owned manager, referee the fight. Jack Johnson didn't have the clout to protest, even though it was obvious that wasn't right. Jack Johnson just smiled and predicted he would knock this man out. In a white man arena, it's the only way to remove all doubt. It was comical to see Jack Johnson toying with Tommy Byrne for 14 rounds, but he got bored, knocked him out, and left Tommy still lying on the ground. It was a bittersweet victory for Johnson and also for the Negro race. Pride and self-esteem could be seen on every black man's face. However, Jack Johnson didn't believe in bowing down to any man. With the company of white women took on and beaten all comers throughout this land. A retired champion by the name of Jim Jeffrey would coin the Great White Hope with many months of pressure returned back through the road. But Jeffrey wasn't a good match for Big Bad Jack, having served throughout this country snickering behind their employers' back. Race Riot broke out to put the Negro back in their rightful place, but a white needed another great white hope to restore their faith. Later, there was one that Johnson couldn't defeat, and his name was Uncle Sam. Came after Jack Johnson like a battery ram. The U.S. government surrounded Johnson like a bat, used a little used law by the name of the man's act. It was illegal to transport white women for illegal purposes over state lines. For that, they convicted Jack Johnson of that crime. A presidential pardon is being asked for to clear Jack Johnson's name without any apology or anyone being named as the one to blame. Well, Jack Johnson's life ended without things being totally right. But for me, I'll always see him as the man who stood above the white.